Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pradeek. This is a short surgical video demonstrating distal radius splitting for volar button fracture. Our patient is a 60 year old male who sustained injury to his left wrist joint after fall from a two wheeler. As you can see on the x-ray, it's a high velocity injury with displaced comminuted volar button fracture with base of ulna styloid fracture. Apart from that, on CT scan we can make out the articular fractured piece which has rotated to 90 degrees. We are going to use modified Henry approach in which the plane of dissection is between flexor carpi radialis tendon medially and radial artery laterally. First we palpate the tendon of flexor carpi radialis and we put the incision in line with the tendon. After skin incision and subcutaneous dissection, we identify the flexor carpi radialis tendon sheath. We open the sheath and retract the FCR tendon medially. If we stay close to the FCR tendon, uh, usually we don't encounter or damage the radial artery.
as we go deep in the plane of dissection we'll encounter the pronotus quadratus muscle which originates from ulna and gets attached to the volar aspect of the distal radius we split the pronotus quadratus in the middle so that we have muscle belly on either side which we can repair after the plating is done Now we use periosteum elevator to visualize the fracture clearly and then reduce the fracture by giving linear traction and manual reduction. Then we reduce the intraarticular displaced bony fragments with the help of artery forceps and bone spike. We are going to use variable angle anatomical locking plate made specifically for such fractures. We place the plate on the bone and confirm its position under IITV guidance and then we fix the plate with the help of cortex screw in the oblong hole. Now we start inserting the distal variable angle locking screws starting from ulnar direction and going to the radial direction under IITV guidance. Once distal fixation is over, then we insert the proximal locking screws in order to complete our fixation.
this completes our procedure now we are going to confirm our reduction and check the stability of fixation under IITV then we are going to repair the pronator's quadratus muscle and close the wound in layers This is the comparison between pre-op and post-op x-rays as you can see the radial height inclination tilt and articular congruity has been restored. Thanks for watching.